Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen playthrough on Legendary Iron Man. Operation Blood Walk is the next installation of uh, the indeed very long war. We're trying to seize more resources out of India before we're liberating the region. So it's a smash and grab mission which is 100% infiltrated with quite a sizable and potent team. The Grey Knights, the um, mine team, are going to go and are taking on 24 enemies. So, without further ado, let's go. All right, we landed. So, this time we're up for four crates. Reinforcements come in in 12. We need to get out of there. Okay, well, the only one who is concealed is our reaper Moving out. So might as well do that is coming. oh look at you okay interesting uh, I wonder this here would not trigger Just trying to get as close uh, to the action as possible. Mike moves up and can we... I saw a turret. Oh, never mind. Potentially not reachable. No need to ask twice. Okay, Sane. A good position here. And I'm going over there. And Overwatch. Okay. We're not having that many rounds, so we better be careful with how we're using them. Ah, come on. Give me that Overwatch hit. Little area suppression. Appreciate that. Let's get the gunner down. That's one. And come on, another hit. There we go. Moves up, potentially triggering the snacks. Who are, as expected, slithering into safety. Good, we do have Blade Storm, and I'm more than willing to make use of it. Cool. Flanking the sergeant. And that's a solid kill. Still a problem with this purifier. Grenade. This should double explode. Go. 
Serio into kill. Kill. up and we're team working over here sidewinder is yet again done Problem with sidewinders don't trigger Overwatch. It is clear. We're just going to tank it and Deal a little bit of damage. Feeling kind of woozy. The shadows favor. I think I'm bleeding. Yeah, stupid poison. That's also an interesting concept just moves up to poison and stands in the open effectively accepting that we would die or that they would die why is mike hmm. i was assuming he would have a med kit but he doesn't well that is indeed surprising Good, got implacable if needed. This here should be a kill. And by should, it is not. Moves up. Sona moves up. I uh, would like to get a bit closer, but I don't want to be poisoned. Overwatch, and we're doing all for one here. Understood. We'll be taking high ground. Let's just get up here. And maybe a large intel cache once we're out. One more round until we can re-stealth for the time being. We're moving up. Okay, that works well. Already there. 
Double move. I'm all over it. No, that's not good. Not good enough. Sure, if maybe switched position in an attempt to get the gunner further forward. Well, hello there. There's another pack downstairs, so gotta be careful. That idea. Problem is, with that idea, we're blocking the entrance for everybody else. That could be a kill. All right, they are downstairs. Interesting. Let's get that drone. Close but not quiet. Can kill either with combat protocol. This guy is dead due to Blade Storm. Ah, uh, we do not have it ever vigilant, elsewise, just moving back would have solved that case. Next turn we'll get the turret down. Hawkwhite makes himself an interesting target and shield bearer or drone, what's more important. The hunter drone can't do anything against Hogbite. Might uh, just trigger a stun out of him. I'll just stay here for now.
Sheesh. Okay, so the flanking shot missed, but the full cover... Okay, whatever. And we need to work on our blade storm skills. This is embarrassing. What's not embarrassing is that we're immune to stun. That is totally okay and not imbalanced. Let's get the heavy turret down. Cool. Big deal. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm on the move. Hostile neutralized. Ready to go. Let's soften the drone up a bit. I didn't make it through. Top of my range. Uh, really? Refocusing. Please refocus Hogbite because this is ridiculous. It's like the third melee attack of 90% that he misses. Okay. It just became a little bit more interesting. Not 100%. Trigger a serial. Very nice. Got a mech up here. Cool, well, that solves the problem downstairs. But not the ones up here. I am going to go to here so that we're not going to trigger. Micro missiles, same deal over here. Nice. Okay, needed to take a short break to <coughs> do something in real life. So, let's trigger the next pack, shall we? Hmm, nothing here. That indeed is strange. Hmm. 
Well, we might already be getting some resources. Good, reloading. Loading fresh ammo. And aye, aye. let's reload and get ready just in case a pack is going to come. Wow, what a pack. Telling me that's just one pack. I'm under fire. Holy I'm wow. Fire. Ridiculous amount, no one hits, everybody tries to uh, shoot. Okay, the question now is, shall we stay or shall we go? Good question. Kill one. Potentially get a couple of these guys. I think running won't really solve our problem. One and kill. Good. Well, that's one down. By the way, that is someone else in the background making these noises. No, it's all right. Good, we're moving into a nice position where we can flank a lot of them. That's a kill, that could be a kill. Priest, Serpent. Lots of good shots. I like what I'm seeing. All right, I'll go. Moves to here. Let's get that serpent down. Rapid fire. some combat rush that's good that's great Get ready for a surprise. hit all of them Good, I think this will uh, start to mess them up nicely. Okay, almost got all of them. Now, cereal into we could airdrop another grenade for next round. Yeah, let's do that. Combat protocol. Let's 
setting that mech up nicely. One. Two. Three. And we'll just take this guy out for unknown reasons we couldn't move. Good. I would overall say relatively solid. We got an entire an entire pack down. With the exception of this guy. They come for me. We are blessed with armor. And this guy, who for whatever reason can just step through the wall. Inverting our position. Hit that stun lancer. That was rather trying nicely to pat him on his back. That was the very opposite of heavy hitting. We're going to throw a nice little knife at him. It's almost down. Which now brings us to the recently airdropped grenade. That could make all of the difference. Hitting the wall, yes, we're okay with friendly fire, we already looted. in shooting the sky you can't handle me Good, we're moving to the exit. Let's just reload Overwatch. And he will need to come to us, which is going to be fine. Here's the blade storm. Not happening. Back. 
But we could still get a large Intel cache. Back online. God damn it, that was such a good mission. And we, I think we killed all of them, 20 odd. Uh, too bad. <laughs> too bad. I think we got fail safe, so should be fine. Good, perfect. We're out of here. Very nice. I personally liked uh, the last engagement a lot. They were still trying to uh, backstep us and we were just retaliating so hard. Massive pack, like eight or ten of them. And at the end, all of them were killed. Plotting to destroy all we have built. To return us to the chaos of the old world. Only together can we oppose them. United. Nothing boosts morale like a few dead aliens. Mike the Public Bravo. Rescue Protocol. Thank you. And we got Scythe uh, with another couple of options. So, Lingering Shadows, 15 defense and 30 dodge for one turn when the Reaper loses Shadow. That's not bad. I like it. Disorient uh, Robots is great. Once per turn, gain a movement action after shooting with your primary weapon at the unit that was damaged this turn. Gain a movement action, okay. And with knife encounters once per turn, gain a bonus action after throwing a knife. And that cannot trigger together with a cheap uh, shot. Okay. Rapid deployment, we don't really use uh, that a lot. We don't have the ghost grenade and so on. This here is nice uh, to make sure that we're definitely killing someone. Throwing knives. Uh, gain plus two armor pierce and on top of it will disorient that's not bad either that itself is also good and we get a grenade only slot hmm okay so after taking care of other responsibilities I ended up uh, with picking cheap shot Cheap Shot actually isn't uh, bad, uh, it solves a problem with Serial together. By thinking about the future build, I definitely would want to have Banish, but I also would want to have uh, the Knife Encounters uh, due to the bonus action that we could get. So those two definitely want that because the, lo uh, the more often we can be in uh, Shadow, the better it is. And if I can kill multiple enemies, um, the cooldown for Shadow essentially resets. So that in minimum. And I think I would want to have Death from Above as, uh, as well. So that's the standard build for me. Um, we could think about light them up later as well, just for action efficiency or Total Combat, which I think is super uh, valuable as well. One mobility and five aim, that in itself is already not bad. But then getting all of uh, the um, additional perks with Total Combat, that's actually quite good. Uh, faster, better hitting, and we get a grenade that also doesn't end the turn, so could actually even better than light them up. Cool. And you guys like each other, which is the best thing that could have happened, uh, because now we do have another bond. Great. Lovely. Now that that team is ready, I think we had 
this mission here seven days with uh, four more intel and I think we wanted to have the Grey Knights available for that mission look at that six days eight hours it's perfect timing almost are we missing something for them they were performing so so well not surprising because they have all of the good tools available and are ultra high level but um, yeah that team in itself could definitely uh, do this mission get another intel package and just get on with it Literally just came out of a mission and immediately went into another mission. Okay, so we got the Space Wolves down here for another mission. I think we can do that in, in the next episode. That'll be recover an item and we have a pretty sizable team. But that's not going to be an easy one. Uh, the um, Space Wolves have a bit of a random roster with them. I would still want to go through with it now so that we uh, f uh, free that up. And I need to reform the Space Wolf roster because uh, the ones that are doing all of uh, the Covert Ops missions are still on set uh, roster. So a little bit of rework is needed. We got plenty of intel, so maybe an expansion that would make sense we had one for 130 where we don't even need to build a network tower let's just double check do we have uh, anything near for a cheap um, amount 130 we could definitely afford that uh, soon this will be liberated and then we can definitely make contact don't want to uh, pay 200 intel for that yeah okay so no the answer is no not yet but it'll happen soon cool guys that's the end of today's episode thank you so much for watching as always if you enjoy the content leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode bye bye